Hey, what's up, YouTube? Uh, just want to do a little quick video to introduce myself and uh, and uh, have some content on my channel. Um, my name is Philip Young. A um, little bit of backstory. Um, had a stroke five years ago, uh, a little over five years ago. Um, messed up my left side pretty bad. Uh, um, don't want to say I had to learn to walk again, but basically I did. Um, didn't have to learn, I just had to build up my strength. I lost a lot, a uh, great deal of strength on my left side and uh, most of the coordination on my left side. Uh, the part of my brain that my stroke was located in was my cerebellum, which uh, controls my eyesight and balance. And uh, I had actually had a double stroke, so my left side was affected with strength and coordination, and my right side uh, hurts all the time, basically. Um, um, it's getting better. Um, I'm strengthening up my left side and able to walk a little better now, but for two years I had double vision. Um, during this time, I became a professional YouTube watcher, if you will. Um, I've watched a, a lot of channels that started out with bushcraft and it's kind of just developed from there um, to uh, kayak camping. I uh, want to shout out to Trip Smith, and uh, formerly known as Selling and Such. Uh, he inspired me a great deal to uh, get out and, and do something. I've uh, been watching a lot of channels uh, and actually recently uh, taken a big interest to the Appalachian Trail and the uh, Pacific Crest Trail and been watching a lot of people over there. Uh, Dixie over at uh, Homemade Wonderlust, um, Ivy Tat, uh, Captain Blackbeard, Amanda Bess. Uh, been watching a lot of guys. I, I, I didn't write them down, so I can't tell you who they all are. But uh, you know, just search uh, uh, through hikes, and uh, all these guys will pop up. A lot of good content. Uh, learning a lot of stuff about hiking and how to pack and what kind of gear to use and all that kind of stuff. Uh, but uh, the reason I set this channel up is to uh, further my uh, stroke recovery. Um, I really like to hike and camp and and backpack uh, is the natural progression for that so I um, intend on uh, uh, getting some gear and going as light as possible I would like to get my gear sub 10 pounds um, and starting with my backpack um, tent or hammock I'm kind of struggling with the idea of, of going to a tent I'm a hammock camper I have been for a while um, but I'm kind of some of the places that I want to go hiking are not suited for a hammock. So I'm considering going to the ground and I'm just kind of uh, need some input from you guys, uh, if you would. I would like for, for this channel to be very interactive, but uh, if you don't mind, uh, give me some suggestions. Uh, hammock over tent or tent over hammock. Um, which one can I get the lightest with is the big question. And uh, you know, I've have to get a uh, I want to go all Cuban fiber or Dyneema if possible and uh, get a tarp or and I've uh, been looking at uh, Dutch wear gears half whip hammock and I've also been looking at uh, the uh, MSR carbon reflex 2 tent uh, which is very very light and uh, the reason I pick it over the Z Pax duplex which is a big big growing uh, preference to a lot of people is it's a single wall tent and in the eastern United States uh, Appalachian Trail Kentucky where I'm at actually is very moist and I'm afraid that a single wall tent will be a little bit too uh, condensation uh, prone so I'll tending to kind of shy away from that and and looking at going with a double wall tent if that's the route that I go uh, but everything else ZPAX has definitely on the list as far as uh, um, I mean they sell the hammock tarp as well uh, the backpack the uh, ZPAX arc haul is what I'm uh, most interested in um, 
looking at their sleeping bag or top quilt, um, their bear bag, uh, their off their stuff sacks, their dry bags, all that stuff. Uh, I'm really interested in and in getting that stuff. I've already got some titanium cookware uh, tokes, uh, 550 milliliter cup, uh, long spoon. Um, so I'm I'm on my way to getting as light as possible. Uh, like I said, base weight is uh, hopefully going to be around uh, six seven pounds tops. I'm hoping. Um, of course, I'm not doing any long hikes yet so I don't need to be real concerned with electronics and stuff I will take my phone for videos when I am on trail or on an adventure um, so hey uh, nice to meet you hope to hear some comments from you guys uh, if you don't mind uh, hit that like button if you like my video and and uh, subscribe to my channel there's gonna be a lot more to come um, I'm just now getting where I can get up and get out on the trail. I'm, I'm, the last time I was on the trail, I think I did a half mile uh, out and back, um, so a mile long hike. Um, so that's that's kind of where I'm starting with. I'm, I've got a treadmill and a bicycle and an elliptical. I'm going to be doing some exercises and and getting myself trail ready for for spring. You know, it's March right now, so. Uh, the temperature is still turning off kind of cold, uh, but uh, we're we're soon soon going to be in uh, outdoor weather. And uh, you know, despite the rain, I'll just get me some rain gear and go on with it. I've got my eye on some frog togs, uh, which I already have a raincoat, which is pretty light to it. It's Columbia, but uh, um, like I said, I'm I'm going to try and get my everything as light as possible because it's going to do nothing but help me in the long run and uh, I'd like to give a shout out to Amanda over at the Chubby Hiker uh, she's getting ready to start her PCT hike uh, this month I think should be just a couple weeks away she should get started so uh, if you get a chance go and check her out she's got a Facebook channel Instagram and all that good stuff uh, but she's a real funny gal and uh, I looked uh, I look forward to seeing her on the trail. I think it's going to be quite quite comical. But anyway, I uh, just want to say hey and uh, good to see you. Good luck and uh, have a good one.